हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्वांट लैब क्वांट लैब में आपका स्वागत है सम टाइम बैक और एक्चुअली कंसिस्टेंटली आई हैव बीन डूइंग वीडियोस अबाउट व्हाई यू शुड नॉट यूज एआई फॉर स्टॉक मार्केट प्रिडिक्शन हाउएवर बहुत सारे लोग पूछते हैं टेक्निक्स क्या है एंड आल्सो आई थॉट दैट यू नो कैन वी यूज ए टू एक्चुअली प्रिडिक्ट इट इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट टर्म now the intent here is not to get into the moral complexities at all again the intent as always is to show you how simple it is to use a bunch of libraries in python feed some data and get some numbers output these numbers are also surprisingly interestingly not very bad they have like 2 2 and half 3% error rates which is quite decent which tells that even a simple model has good enough you know capability in terms of predicting or in terms of figuring out what's going to happen again prediction is a wrong word again i keep on repeating prediction is not the intent so chalo code mein dive in karte hain very very simple so we have some analysis the title says nifty and bank nifty analysis but i've just done this for nifty bank nifty can be repeated so there are couple of libraries or a new library which i have not talked about i think recently is i'm introducing yahoo finance pandas regular guys sk learn and uh, sk learn related details like linear regression right is a technique for treating data as a you know linear regression like which is like a predicting in form of a flat line what is a linear regression just a quick image if there are some points scattered in space xy space the intent is linear regression line shows the you know path of best fit so it's a line that best describes the data doesn't include this there's a lot of assumptions as well before you use the model and i'm pretty sure this data meets none of that ideally you should be doing some sort of a curve fitting or a time series model but again for simplicity this is what a linear regression model is there's a predicted value there's the actual value and we'll try to see the difference so you have some data points in the space and this is a line of best fit think of it as a very 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 smooth and down kind of a line so if you think in terms of smoothing of lines the longer you're moving averages become the more smooth the line is that's some sort of intuition you can grab so we fetched the data of nifty 50 i've just used like 3 4 mahine ka data liya the inter the, there's a lot of depths you can go to showing a little bit of basic feature engineering there's simple moving average being fed rsi being fed and i have only calculated rsi law raw if you have not watched my previous videos or the webinar which i recently did where we went deep into how can you do feature engineering basics of python check that out in the member community all of this code as well will be posted in the member community all right so yeah here is the price so i'm also looking at 3 4 5 days minus because the intent here is to not just predict one day but maybe predict 3 4 days and see where the data lies of course so that's just shifting operation within the data frame then you have two features here essentially simple moving average 20 days and rsi and you have targets as multiple uh, targets and what i'm trying to do is splitting the data into simple training and testing split what is this basically when you have a machine learning project and you have some data what you do is split the data into training data and tra testing data because ट्रेनिंग डेटा पे आप मॉडल बना दो टेस्टिंग डेटा को आप एक्चुअली में यूज करते आई रिपीट ऑल ऑफ दिस इज जस्ट हाइपोथेटिकल तो वी हैव स्प्लिट द डेटा एटी ट्वेंटी है वाई एटी ट्वेंटी जस्ट नो रीजन पीपल डू सेवेंटी थर्टी एटी ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी टू ट्रेन थर्टी टू टेस्ट सो हे इज अ मॉडल दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड हेज अ लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल दिस इज हाउ द लीनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल विजुअलाइजेशन लुक्स लाइक सो एक्स ट्रेन ट्रेनिंग इज द आर एस आई एंड द सिंपल मूविंग एवरेज टारगेट्स आर मल्टीपल टारगेट्स हेयर so we're trying to predict multiple targets and then we predict the next 3 4 the moment you call the fit function fit is basically the operation that trains the model and it takes two parameters one is the training the input the x parameter y being the target so dependent variable independent variable again this is a linear regression model probably the most simplest of models this will have almost no predictive power in case of market dynamics in case of time series for a majority of scenarios again if the data has been trending in some sort of a line up trend or a down trend if the data actually has a trend a slope then you can use this technique maybe over a small period of time but again it requires a lot of deep feature engineering smoothing out understanding model parameters and all that so predict the next 3 4 then and fetch it for comparisons so i'm also then 
fetching the actual data back so whatever data i have pulled i have pulled it till 25th of august then it's just gonna pull some more data for the future then i'm just matching creating a data frame to store the results so the date the predicted value actual close and the percentage deviation and as you can see this is trying to predict nifty in the range of like this deviations in the range of minus 2 to minus 3.5 so the first is predicted for 25th then 26th then 27th and the deviations are there it's not actually that bad however this almost has no real significance but here's the core part here's the fun part a lot of us are interested in what's going to happen in market next day what's going to happen this week what we can do is leverage python to automate a lot of primary analysis that we frequently do so post market we sit we look at you know where the swings have been where the data has moved where the calls have been where the puts have been and take a little more deep dive in the data essentially try and study it right so that study, whether AI powered or non-AI powered, you can automate using that. The approach will be similar. You'll still get the data. Like for example, you'll still get the data. Ignore the whole SQL learn thing. You'll still download it. You'll still do some feature engineering. Feature engineering may yoga, maybe joining data hoga, slicing hoga, sub aggregates hoga. You'll do technical indicators. You will still have an analysis model. Might not be machine learning powered, but you will have some rules, right? Let's say RSI upar gaya ke nahi gaya, gaya to kitna percent RSI gaya, what happened to the MACD today, basic, the basic indicators that most of us follow, right? You can put that, then you can analyze this and try to send messages to some sort of a telegram channel which you own where you can constantly read this and I've talked about how to do that in future, previous videos as well, alright? So, so that's how you can automate your analysis for Nifty, Bank Nifty or literally anything. All right, so this was a very fun video that I thought of making. Again, no intent of pushing anything in the form of we can do this, we can try to do this in AI. Wo intent nahi tha is video ka. Just, just a little lighter. And yeah, that's it from this video. Thank you guys for listening. Bye-bye.